What up guys? So today I'll be going over a little bit about Temple School of Podiatric Medicine. I'll be discussing what is required for admissions and some statistics of my entering class of 2024. So stay tuned. So for Temple University or TUSPM, you can see that a bachelor degree is preferentially preferred. Um, you're going to need approximately 90 acceptable minimum hours of semester hours or 135 quarter unit hours. AP credits are accepted. Uh, stats wise, in the year of 2019 to 2020, 557 people applied, that of which 100 actually matriculated. So you have approximately like a 20% um, matriculation rate. Among the 100 people who matriculated, 98 had a bachelor's degree, 17 with a master's, and none with any other doctorates. Here you see a list of prerequisites that are needed for um, your application. Courses include biology, chemistry, organic chemistry, physics, English, as well as biochemistry, anatomy, embryology, histology, genetics, psychology, microbiology, and cell biology, all of which are recommended but not necessarily required. The MCAT is mandatory um, and has to be taken within three years um, upon your application submission. Here we have a list of the stats for the MCAT results as well as GPAs. So on average, we see that MCAT results come out to be around 24 um, in the old system, but 499 in the, the newer one. The overall average GPAs is for the science is 3.18 whereas the overall will be 3.29 for the average in your aacp mas application additionally you're going to require to have a recommendation letter in fact two letters of evaluation from a science faculty or or one pre-professional committee letter as well as a letter of recommendation from a practicing podiatric physician in terms of the entering class demographics we see that there was approximately 38% white, 4% Spanish, Hispanic, Latino, Latino, identifying groups, 37% um, Asian, 11% black or her African American, and 10 others who reported otherwise. The average age range includes 20 to 37, and that of which the average is 23.5 years old. Here are the stats for my entering class of 2024. So there were 585 applications that were received, in which 100 became our class size. The gender ratio is approximately 50-50, with a little bit more female than male. 13% were from Pennsylvania, and approximately 87% are non-Pennsylvania residents. 82 colleges have been represented, and in terms of diversity, we have 73% minority represented, and many other ethnicities. With regards to GPA, the overall average GPA was a 3.4, with the non-science being a 3.5 and the science being 3.27. The MCAT is mandatory, and the average for that was a 500. The DAT could also be used in place, and the average for that was an 18. 26 students from the entering class had a graduate level degree, such as a master's degree, and the overall average entering age was 23, with the range being 20 to 35.